Today, I'm gonna to be making the cinnamon pecan pumpkin cake. This is from the Woodland Creek uh, Pumpkin Spice Recipe Book. This is actually put out by Publishers Clearinghouse, and Georgian uh, sent us this packet, and it had three cookbooks in the packet, and this was one of the uh, uh, cookbooks. So, uh, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to spray a nine, uh, 13 by 9 inch baking pan with nonstick cooking spray. So for this recipe, I'm using one of these uh, throwaway pans, and I just wanted to show you the brand that I buy is the Easy Foil, and you get two, and I like them because of the lid. Uh, some of these, you have to be careful with the ones that you can find at Walmart, because some of them, when you buy them, they do not come with lids. So this, when you buy it, the lids are actually on the bottom, so you can see, you can actually see that the lid comes with it, and it says with lids too. Uh, but I always like to get mine with a lid because when you're making a dessert like this, you want to be able to uh, cover it. Um, so I took this pan and I sprayed it with Baker's Joy. Now for your ingredients. You are going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup granulated sugar, three-fourths cup packed it says dark brown sugar. I'm using light brown sugar because that's all we buy is light brown sugar, and it will not affect the taste whatsoever. So I'm using light. light. That's the only uh, uh, the only ingredient where I'm varying any. Um, you need two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of salt, one can. Uh, pure pumpkin, 15 ounce can of pumpkin. I'm using the Libby's brand. It's plentiful in our area, so that's what I buy. Uh, half a cup of vegetable oil is already measured out in here. Half a cup of milk. Two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla. Three-fourths cup of cinnamon chips divided. And so I have half a cup here and then the rest here. And I bought the uh, Hershey's Kitchens cinnamon. Uh, we actually found these in the uh, seasonal section at Target, like back where the Halloween stuff is. That's where we found these. Uh, because cinnamon, we, uh, Kevin and I have discovered that cinnamon chips, at least in our area, it's not something that they keep out all the time. Uh, then uh, you need a half a cup total of chopped pecans, but then you have to divide that out. Uh, so I have that divided as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. So we have our flour, and we're gonna add in our brown sugar, just the regular sugar, and then the salt, and the baking powder, and the pumpkin pie spice. And just uh, mix those together. And then we're gonna set that bowl, uh, we're gonna set this bowl to the side once these are all combined. I put this entire can of pumpkin in a new bowl. So we're gonna combine our pumpkin and the oil, the milk, eggs, and vanilla, and we're gonna whisk Sorry about that noise. We're gonna whisk these together until they're well combined. We're gonna add our flour mixture to this mixture until it is well blended. We're gonna add a little bit of it at a time. And this recipe would actually be, I think, a lot easier in a, uh, a mixer, but I decided to try this one without the mixer. Uh, just to see, you know, if you don't have a mixer at all, if you don't have any kind of hand mixer or anything like that, um, how it would work. So, so I'm doing this all by hand, just as an experiment. switch over to a spoon just because I think it will be easier. So you want to stir in your half a cup of cinnamon chips and your fourth cup of pecans. Now you want 
to pour this mixture into your prepared pan. Sprinkle the top with the remaining cinnamon chips and pecans. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for 25 to 30 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. I'll probably set my timer for 28 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how it looks when it comes out of the oven. I ended up baking it for 28 minutes because I tried to take it out a little earlier and it still wasn't uh, ready, but 28 minutes was perfect for my oven. Uh, now you want to let it sit for 15 minutes before trying. So this has been sitting for 15 minutes and I'm just gonna cut us a piece and we'll see how it looks. Smells good. I'm gonna take a piece right out of the center here. There we go. This recipe says it makes 20 to 24 servings and this cake is best the day it's made. So like right here, right now, this is as good as it's gonna get. And I think mine looks, uh, if I had taken a piece out mm -hmm. of the middle, I think mine looks, of course they have shadows in their picture, you know, they have their fancy photography, but I think mine looks very similar to that, especially if I had gotten a piece right out of the center. Mm -hmm. So, it smells good. It does really smell the pumpkin. And I'm curious how strong these cinnamon chips are too. Hmm. It tastes like pumpkin pie. I mean, that tastes dead on a pumpkin pie. It does. And it was no trouble at all. I didn't even get the mixer out for this one. I oh, did really? it by hand. Yeah. Now, my arm got sore. It really did because you know, you're, you're whisking everything by hand. So my arm did get sore. It would be easier to use your whisk in your mixer if you have one. But I wanted to do one, a recipe not using the mixer at all, just to show can you do it the same? Is it gonna turn out if you don't have one? And yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's just more physical. I mean, that's mm -hmm. all the mixer saving you is this the physical part. Cause think about it, 100 years ago, they didn't have electric mixers. Right. Well, maybe 150 years ago. <laughs> That's really good. If you like pumpkin pie, go for it. I love the pecans too. Yeah, and all, and you know what? The cinnamon I do get when I got the cinnamon chip by itself. You can taste it, but just mixed in overall, you really don't get a cinnamon flavor. No, you're mainly getting the pumpkin, the mm -hmm. pumpkin, and the pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. Huh? Yes. Let me try some of those. Just the. That's what I did. Just take it off the top, yeah. And it's you know it's a strong cinnamon when you just get the chips. Oh, yeah. But when it's all mixed together, you don't taste cinnamon. I mean, it, you get cinnamon, but it's not, it's all mixed together. It's not overpowering, else. yeah. No. Uh, but I think that, I think it's delicious. So yeah, if you like pumpkin pie, which I do, this is good. And this would be good with a dollop of whipped cream on top. It would be good with whipped cream. And this is one of those recipes that I will write in this book the date that I made it. And in my comments, I thought it was really good that Kevin thought it tasted like pumpkin pie. I'll write that on here too but I won't actually change any of the measurements because I think this had the perfect amount of pumpkin pie spice, mm -hmm. pumpkin, that full can of pumpkin, uh, the pecans, the cinnamon chips, everything. Yeah, everything up, I think it was the perfect amount. Yeah. So, I mean, of course you could always add more cinnamon chips or, or pecans if you wanted to. I don't to. think you'd need it. It's really well balanced yeah, the way it is. I don't think you need to at all. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. <laughs>